Okay, I have way too many projects going on. Where do I even start with this? This is definitely a project overload. Welcome back to the Blissful Badger. In the past few weeks, I've worked on several projects. I painted up some pink horrors. I filmed a fun video for Valentine's Day with some help, and I started working on several other things. Sometimes projects get started and set aside. This could be from a simple lack of motivation, a missing component, or a new shiny. Other projects may have a higher priority. Say you were planning to enter a tournament. I need to refocus, and I figured I'd go through my four-step process in hopes that it would help you when things start piling up. Prioritize. The first step is to prioritize. If you don't have a clear idea of the projects you want or need to be working on, the first step is to make a list. I enjoy the value versus effort chart as a way to find the best use of time, though I modify it slightly to include fun as part of the value slide. Mostly, this is so I don't have to make a chart more complicated than necessary going into a third variable and requiring a 3D representation to fill out. Effort is the time needed to complete the project. Value is how important the project being done ranks among others, plus my enjoyment of the process. As I fill out my value versus effort chart, I want to be aware of my current projects, and not get lost in the future options in my collection. There are already enough projects to work on here. Indrasta is ready to prime, along with a few custodies and necrons. But the weather is questionable, and I need to complete a few squads before they can all be primed. I would rank this low value until the other models are ready, and because of that, it is high effort. My Necron Tomb Blades are also part of the priming step, but I need to build the last one and fix the other five. Low effort at about two hours, but high value as it gets me closer to priming, and I will need them at the start of the month for the Escalation League. My Death Guard character sits on the corner of my desk. I occasionally work on him, but there is no immediate need to complete him. He is a character, so I feel he is calling for a slightly higher level of detail, and so that puts him in a higher effort and a very low priority. The Screamer Killer is fine sitting on my shelf of potential. I could use him if I wanted to field Tyranids, and he isn't part of any plan in the immediate future. High effort, low priority, and technically beyond the current projects. So he'll sit over to the side. The Kyrak Acolytes are only a few coats of paint away from being done. Even if they all require fine brush control. It's the brown straps, bronze trim, and silver weapons. These are part of my 1000 point force of Disciples of Zinch. These are teetering between low and high effort, but they are definitely higher in the value category. My Grey Knights are still not fully based. I need to put down the texture paste and insert the chaos bits. Once this is done, the Grey Knights will be properly battle ready. Effort is fairly low, probably a single hobby knight, and the value is quite high, completing dozens of models for the army at once. My Horus Heresy Death Guard have a few models built, but nothing much beyond that. I want to get them to a playable level, but it would require massive effort to do so. Even if I have a decent value from this, I also see other steps I'm not ready for. I've been using the same wet palette for several years, and there are multiple things I don't like about it. I don't like how deep the paint sits, and I also need to replace the sponge. Effort is extremely low, and since I use the wet palette on nearly all of my painting, it is a high value project. Okay. That's a decent amount of projects, and doesn't include everything. <laughs> so I'm ready 
for the next step. Tackle the small things. As I look at the chart, I note a few projects that are quite easy, and I should tackle them first. It feels great getting a rolling start, and finishing a small task can give the momentum to work on and finish other projects. The easiest and highest value item on this list is a new wet palette. Make a plan. With the wet palette done, I now can spend more time focusing on the chart. Prioritizing and making a plan is definitely easier when there are less things to do. Looking at the high value options, I note three projects that vie for the highest value for effort. The Grey Knights, the Karyak Acolytes, and the Necron Tomb Blades. Since I'm filming this video on Saturday, you will already know my decision was to paint the Karyak Acolytes on Sunday's livestream. The weather might be nice by the time the video releases, so I will finish building the Necrons so that they're ready to prime when the window of opportunity strikes. This means by the end of the week, I should have time to complete the Grey Knights. This process just took the pile of projects on my table, and in a single week, I will have four of them done. Much better than staring at the pile and having decision paralysis know that new things will interrupt. Different items on the chart could move over time, and other projects can and do get added with higher value. Sometimes the fun factor will increase something beyond others, or maybe a low effort item can get knocked out so that the chart stays less cluttered. None of these things is really a problem, and remember that this is a hobby and fun. Even if we are using a work-related technique to keep us motivated. Subscribe if you haven't, so that you don't miss any future videos. I also want to thank my patrons and supporters for making these videos possible. And until next time, I hope you find your bit of bliss.